What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another hot sauce review for you. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I've had this one for a while. Figured I'd give it a try today. This is from Inferno Farms in San Diego, California. This is the Green Monster. I know it's probably not focusing because my camera sucks. But I love how the little gnome has a jalapeno pepper on his pitchfork. That's pretty awesome. So, <clears throat> we're going to read a little right up on the back. It says, this spine-chilling blend of fresh ingredients is monstrous, monstrous in flavor with only a shadow of heat. A hair-raising experience when paired with monst most foods, the Green Monster will exhilarate your taste buds and send anything bland screaming to the hills. Only 100% natural ingredients to bring you the best tasting sauce possible. We hope you enjoy and come back for more. Greg Foster, Sauce Master. Shake well. We can do that. Uh, has two, it says medium, two out of five peppers. And we'll get right into the ingredients. There's not a lot, and I like that. It is roasted tomatillo, fresh lime juice, serrano pepper. I like serrano. Excuse me. Distilled white vinegar, sweet onion, water, garlic, cilantro, sea salt, canola oil, and xanthan gum. You can find them at infernofarmshotsauce.com. So, we're going to get right into this baby. Everybody's having an amazing day. As I'm filming this, I'm having a great day. Nice morning. A little cooler than it was yesterday morning when I filmed some videos. So, I'm not complaining. <clears throat> All right, give another good shaky shake for Silas. Check out Joe at Heating Up. That's his son Silas. They do reviews together sometimes. Pretty cool. And um, all right, now here's the consistency. A little on the thinner side. Whoops, but not bad. Now <clears throat> the smell test. Okay, yes, definitely get the serrano, the garlic, tomatillo, the cilantro. Very good. Sweet onion. A bit touch of the onion, yeah. So, we want to taste our sauce. We don't want to taint our sauce, bro. So, so I'm going to be using my official Taste the Heat Johnny Scoville tasting spoon made of mother of pearl. If a rich guy wants to spend $100,000 on a serving of caviar, he uses this to eat it with. It's good enough for me to eat a $10 bottle of hot sauce with. Well, I should say taste, but anyway, here's the pour. Show the label. Okay, a little thicker than I thought it was. Mm. Get that garlic and the serrano. All right, so from Inferno Forms, it is the Green Monster. Here we go. Hmm. Get the lime. It smells spicier than it really is. I'm getting the onion predominantly. I get the roasted tomatillo. Not getting much of the pepper though. My bottle. Little chunks of onion in it. But I'm not getting the pepper though. It's really weird. But I'm gonna give it a fair chance shot. We're gonna shake it up again. A little better. And cheers. Okay, now I get the pepper. I just get to drink half the bottle. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's real good. Mm. Oh yeah. It did say spine chingling blend with only a shadow of heat. I would say a shadow of heat. I'd put this in 
about a one. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. So you see, I've drank almost half the bottle already. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah, definitely the heat's at about a one to flavor though. I'm gonna go seven and a half out of ten. I think I would use this on tacos, burritos, any Mexican food. Um, maybe as a salad dressing even. Um, it already has the canola oil in it, so there you go. Wow. Just a great, mild green sauce. Seven and a half out of ten, definitely. I think I'd even put this on maybe pizza. It's really good. Definitely highly suggest it. So, here's my review of Inferno Forms The Green Monster. Definitely give it a try. So, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.